Shalom! Welcome back to my channel! Today, we are going to Jerusalem to visit Israel Museum. Yes! Let's explore it! Yeah! guys shalom so today we are going to israel museum and it's so hot today in jerusalem it's really hot Oof. The ossuaries were sometimes incised with the names of the deceased in Greek, Aramaic, or Hebrew, the three common languages of the time. In 1965, the Knesset building was also just being built, a brand new uh, uh, parliament house after it was in uh, the center of uh, Jerusalem. Teddy Kolek, who was the founder of the museum, who was the mayor of Jerusalem later on, first world, world worked um, in the government and he was um, approached uh, by Mordechai Narkis. Mordechai Narkis was the um, director of the gallery space of the Betzalel Art School. Boris Schatz, who founded the uh, Betzalel Art School, came in um, 1906, uh, started uh, the, 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 the studies of the Betzalel Art School, and alongside the study rooms, the idea was that there's, there are the streets, and that this is another street in the city of Jerusalem. In 1965, there was no gate or wall around the museum itself, so that if you were coming from Malcha, if you were coming from uh, Koroch's Hotel, the Holy Land Hotel, you would walk through the sculpture garden, you would walk up the Carter Pass, and you would buy your ticket 
at the top entrance. That was the only entrance. You paid one lira and you'd walk in and then you'd have the, the, the indoor space. But if you didn't want to pay or if you didn't want to go in, you'd just be able to enjoy uh, the garden. Later on, what we see now is the renewal of 2010. In 2010, the Israel Museum renovated a very, very, very large renovation. Not only did they add more gallery spaces, but they also added an underpass. So that now when you come to the museum, you walk into the main area, you buy your ticket, and then you're able to either walk up in the sun or in the rain, it all depends what season uh, you're in. And there was, uh, it also changed uh, the accessibility for wheelchair oldest books the oldest evidence of the Bible should go with all of our books. So the idea was that it will be in the National Library on the, on the campus of Givat Ram University. Um, they chose the architects, Kisler and Bautos. They made a beautiful design, a beautiful white dome, a beautiful black wall. They bring it to the director of the university. He says, listen, I don't love the design. It kind of clashes with the design of the university. I don't want it. I don't want the Dead Sea Scrolls mm -hmm. in the university. I don't like the design. Mm -hmm. it, doesn't, it doesn't match. The design is beautiful. It won many prizes. Lo matim. Teddy Kodak says, listen, I don't know. What are we going to do? Already bought the plot of the museum. Great. Steinbechad, two birds with one stone. Mm -hmm. We'll have the, the Dead Sea Scrolls here. Worked out in our amazing benefit, first of all, because it, it tells the story inside. You can see the artifacts from the Second Temple period. You can see the scrolls that were written in the Second Temple period. And it's one of the most visited spots in the museum. It's actually open more um, hours than the museum. The museum opens at 10. The, 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 the shrine opens at 8.30. Hi guys, so that's it, it's done and actually guys, I it's a, it's a big museum, the Israel Museum and we have a great tour, we really enjoyed the tour and we walked to archaeology wing, archaeology wing, the Jewish, um, Jewish wing and the fine arts and also Israeli art, the European art, American art, African culture, um, it's a lot, it's a lot of wing and you can really explore it because it's a big one and you can spend hours and the whole day here only in israel museum so on my blog you see only very very few of all those that we have visited because it's really a very big museum guys and sometimes i don't video i don't i don't take video of all of those artifacts or paintings 
so yep so i hope you enjoy watching and shalom and thank you from jerusalem bye please do not forget to like comment and subscribe guys and share this video bye